stand and uh, got everything set up, got the camera arm hooked up and all that good stuff that goes along with filming, but um, I got high hopes for our hunt this evening. I know a few boys that have killed some good bucks in the last uh, week or two, so they're definitely moving. Um, I think the rut's just starting to kick in. Um, me personally, I've seen some bucks, you know, following some does. No real chasing activity yet, but you know, they're getting ready. It's going to be a few days. Probably the first good cold morning we have is going to turn on. So, um, obviously, I'm hunting in the evening right now, though. So, I've had a, I've had two shooter bucks at this stand, though, uh, in the last week or two. I've got a nine point. Who's, you know, he's a solid buck. Um, he's probably three and a half. Just a just a good decent buck. And then we've got a cold buck. That's uh, he's just a six point, but he's like 160 pounds. So either he's really old or he's just got really inferior genetics. Um, I probably won't really be able to tell until I get my hands on him. Uh, so we're shooting for the nine point, obviously, this evening. But if the six comes in, um, I'm going to take a good look at him and probably go ahead and take him. Um, it just all depends. You know, I never really know what I'm going to do until I see a deer. And uh, then I make my decision from there. But hopefully uh, one of them two bucks will come in. We'll get a good shot at them and uh, get another one in the books. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we got a lot of action this evening. I killed my deer. Um, I haven't found him yet, but I know I got good blood. I think I know where he is. Trey's got the Yoda here. So we're going to go in there and uh, pick him up. And his dad just shot one as well. So we're going to get mine and go get his. So stay tuned. There's a patch right here. That's a good patch. Right I'm telling you, he's got to be within... We're, we're within feet of him, I think. There's a good patch right there. Oh, here he is. You got him? Yeah. And he died down in the hole, man. Good lord. Look at the body. That's that a joker. Dude, he's got a monstrous body. I'm telling you, I told you, that was, he's a big cold buck. That is a good. That is a good, big cold buck, Trey. That's a good. That's a good mature Florida deer. That is a good mature deer. I don't know if he's. You think he's just on the decline that hard or what? I, we had a big six that's been running around for years that never got killed, and that's likely that's him. him. That is likely him on the downfall because that's. Son. That's a good deer, man. It's a good mature deer. Oh, I bet this deer weighs about a hundred. How many pounds? Forty pounds, probably. Oh yeah. Dang it. Need to get him out and get him in some better yeah, let's light. Get him out. But man, Oof. what a mature deer, man. Good, good deer. Get a little bump on that. Now the hard Ooh. part. He is stinking, boy. Yeah, that is dumb. I told you this was a deer I thought might have been making them scrape. I guarantee it is. Slash arrows did work on him, son. Yeah, look at that hole, son. And slash on him. Slashed him. And that's actually all right well here he is um put a good shot on him probably ran about 100 yards but i will say this is probably this is either the biggest deer i've ever killed in florida body wise or the second biggest deer that five point that i have on video on the channel as well was a really big body deer but um we guesstimate this deer to be probably between anywhere from four to six or seven honestly um i think he's really heavy on the decline 
but uh, like I said, definitely not a big horn, horn wise um, deer, but I mean the body is just, you know, insane. One of the biggest body deer I've ever killed in Florida by far, so um, I'm really, really pleased with them. And all you can really do at the end of the day is kill a mature deer. Um, you know, the horns, you know, I, everybody likes to kill deer with big horns, but to kill a mature deer in Florida, you've really done something. And this is definitely a mature deer, and uh, I'd be just as happy with him if he, you know, was a 100 inch deer, honestly, because you still killed a mature, smart animal. So, like I said, really pleased with him, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one.